Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Excuse my appearance. I just got out of the shower, but I thought I would do a little makeup routine for you guys. I have not done one of these, I think since like 2020. Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to do a little chit chat, get ready with me. Yes, I've had a channel for that long. I have not posted consistently since then, but the channel has been in existence since that time and I want to recreate that. I'm throwing it back to like the OG beauty YouTuber days, if you will. So let's get started. Like I said, I washed my hair. I use this like air drying styling cream, kind of like scrunch up your hair. I'm hoping that my hair air dries with some things. I have like stick straight hair naturally, which is fine, a blessing and a curse. All I have on my face is moisturizer. The first thing that I use when I'm going in for my base is always SPF. My favorite is the Elta MD UV Clear um, SPF. And then I also mix it with the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. I remember these bronzing drops went super viral like a year or two ago on TikTok. I really love them. I actually was using them before that. Guys, I'm an OG. Oh, do you hear that? I'm almost out of this. I hope everyone's doing well. It is hot as heck right now in Los Angeles. I'm breaking my rule of not leaving the house past 11 a.m. today because I'm actually going over to Studio City to help a friend. I think doing some scenes for his demo reel or something. I was looking and it says it's gonna take me like 20-ish minutes to drive over to Studio City. So I need to leave decently quickly. But luckily my makeup is pretty natural. I normally have a spray tan, so I would try to make my face look more bronze, but right now, honestly, I could care less. I have my anthropology candle burning in the back. So who doesn't love an anthropology candle? Sometimes I'll go in with the NARS foundation. I honestly don't think I'm gonna do that today. I'm not doing that, I'll just go right in with the NARS creamy concealer. This is in the shade medium zero. To be honest, this is a little too dark for me right now when I don't have a tan. We'll see how this goes. This is, I love this because I feel like I get to talk to you guys a lot more when I do my vlogs. I definitely talk to you guys, but it's like my entire week or several days. So it's like a bunch of footage hodgepodge together. I don't know. So this is fun. We're getting to know each other on a more personal level. I'm just gonna blend this out with a beauty blender. Sometimes I use a brush, but to be fully frank, I need to clean my brushes so bad. I just have not done it yet. We're not gonna use my brushes that much until I can like clean them. Cause I've heard like when you use really dirty brushes, one of the main causes of acne in my beauty blender is a lot just easier to clean. So I do try to keep this decent and not super like a disgusting looking. I do get ready with me's a lot on my TikTok, but those, like I said, kind of like my vlogs, those are very much like spliced down. They're like two to three minutes. And this is gonna be a longer video. So I feel like we can chat more. Also, a couple of you guys have left me very, very sweet comments recently. So I just wanted to say thank you. And I try to like the comments and respond. Some people have been DMing me on my TikTok, just saying very nice things. And I really appreciate that because the internet can be kind of a nasty place. But when we have people that are uplifting others, it makes the internet much more enjoyable. So I love you guys. So I have a mirror over here. That's why I'm like, keep looking that way. And once that layer is done, sometimes I will go in with shape tape. This is in the shade light medium kind of in my t-zone i just have a couple little spots that are just like annoying me oh my rashes are coming back full force that is unfortunate moving on i'm gonna do the charlotte tilbury contour wand again i remember this thing literally went viral on tiktok like three years ago at this point when madison beer was like obsessed with it like i've been using it since i took a break to use the rare beauty one which i do like that one a lot I don't know, I keep coming back to it. I'll come right back to you. And then I am a hypocrite because I do use a brush to blend this one out. But this brush is pretty new. It's from Sephora, it's number 88. It's from like the Sephora collection. So I feel like it's not as gross because I haven't used it enough to make it gross to you. I'm so disgusting. I am unsanitary guys, sorry. It is what it is. What is that from? Like that saying like, or in that voice, people will be like, it is what it is. Like, what is that from? Anyways, I mean, if, if sound like a Facebook mom trying to like stay up to Gen Z. It's like when Taylor Swift's on her air tour, like during Champagne Problems, there's a clip that someone posted and she was like, what are you guys saying on the internet these days? Mother is mothering. I'm like, that's how I feel right now. 
also saw that Travis Kelsey is making his acting debut. He's in this like horror FX series. I saw the like trailer for it on TikTok and he's only in the trailer for literally like two seconds. There's no future after this. By the way, using my rare beauty blush, but he's the one at the beginning of the trailer. He's like, hey guys, it's Travis Kelsey. What? Here's a trailer for blah, blah, blah. From what the few seconds I saw, I mean, it looked pretty good. So I'm excited to see. I probably won't watch it only because I don't do well with horror stuff. I'll probably just like go online and look up some clips of him in it just to see. As a fellow actor myself, I am curious to see his acting abilities, not even gonna lie. I was filming a get ready with me the other day on my TikTok and I was using this blush. When you first start to blend it, it looks crazy, but then it starts to die down a little bit. But I was like, do I have blush blindness? I do like a lot of blush. It can be a little bit like overboard. That might be too much on the nose. So I don't want to be giving Rudolph. I am so ready for fall and Christmas. Honestly, winter is my favorite season. Fall is probably my second favorite. I just like the colder weather. I don't like being freezing, but I would rather be able to go outside in my sweaters than be sweating. <laughs> Get that on the t-shirt. I'd rather be in a sweater than sweating. That's iconic. I grew up in the Bay Area and it pretty much stayed temperate like the entire year round. So now being here and it being literally hot as balls, I'm like, ugh. And all these stores like at the Grove, like Aritzia and everyone are starting to carry super cute fall clothes. So I'm like, if it doesn't start cooling off, I won't be able to wear any of these clothes. Going in with some Laura Mercier powder. I love this powder. I'm using this e.l.f. powder puff that I got at Ulta. It was already like $3. I've used the Beauty Blender one, but honestly, this one works just as well, and it's literally like a tenth of the price. I feel like because I'm doing my makeup by the natural lighting, I'm hoping that it turns out better than it normally does. Next, I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector in the shade Light. I have literally hit pan on this. It's like a bronzer highlight in one, so I just kind of put it in the general vicinity where I put my contour. I mostly just try to give myself like a bronze. I'm like... Nah, you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more powder blush because I'm crazy. This is the Shelly blush from Benefit. It's just like a really pretty peachy shade. I also really like the Dandelion blush from Benefit. And that has like a little shimmer to it. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Haas. I always want to say it's Haas Lab. I like to use the House Lab Tricone Foundation. I'm pretty sure it's House Labs highlighter. This is Lady Gaga's brand. I saw the trailer for her new Joker movie yesterday. Um, we actually saw Beetlejuice yesterday, or technically it's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's like the sequel. I have not seen the original. Don't sue me, I'm sorry. So I don't really have anything to compare this one to. It's kind of a standalone movie. Like you don't really need to see the original to see this one. And I really liked it actually. I mean, Jenna Ortega, I love her. I loved it and I love Winona Ryder, of course. I'm gonna do some brows also. This Anastasia Brow Wiz. I really liked the movie. There is honestly nothing better than going to a movie when it is super hot outside because you go into the theater and it is air conditioned. It's just really nice. It's a great experience when it's hot. Also when it's raining. I remember when I was younger, I loved going to the movie theaters when it was like a rainy day outside. My brother, he lives in Texas. I should ask him what the weather is because I don't even know honestly, but if we are hotter, here in SoCal than it is in Texas, that's criminal because at least where he is in Texas, he's in Dallas, he is not like by the ocean whatsoever. We should be having a little bit of a coastal breeze. Started watching The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. Have you guys watched that yet? It literally, I'm filming this on Saturday and I think it aired either yesterday, Friday, or the day before that. Everyone online is saying how they hate Whitney. I don't necessarily hate her. I don't think I've watched enough of the show to like definitively say, oh yeah, these are my favorites. This is who I like the least. But again, so far it is a really good show. I do like it a lot. Seems like it's a little scripted, sort of. Every reality show is scripted, I feel like, to, to some degree nowadays. Besides Big Brother, I am obsessed with Big Brother. That is my new thing, using the Refi Brow Gel. This stuff is really good. A little goes a long way and it will lock your brows in place all day. But anyways, what I'm saying is I love Big Brother so much. I love like analyzing like the psychology of it and like all the players and the moves they make and this is my first season watching it and it has been a crazy season. The players are rocking the boat. 
I don't know if any of you guys watch Big Brother, but I'll say some of my favorites that are still here. A lot of my favorites went home, unfortunately. I love Cam, I love Chelsea. I kind of feel for Chemo, but he's kind of annoying me. I really like Quinn as a player, but he also is kind of doing some people dirty. Um, who else? I don't know. Using the skin perfector again as a little eyeshadow. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm going to curl my lashes. I got a lash lift like two months ago and I loved it. I haven't gotten a lash lift since then and I feel like it's definitely worn off. I definitely want to get a lash lift because I have really long lashes naturally, but they kind of go straight out. They kind of just go like, so I do want to get another lash lift because I just love not having to wear mascara. I think I kind of did myself dirty because I got my lash lift right before my pageant and then just putting on so much makeup for so long and like at night trying to take it off you're like stripping your eyes even when i was trying to be really gentle so i think that just made the lash lift not last as long i'm using this ilia mascara which is one of my favorites i've used this literally for like four years if i really like wanted to take my time and get in here i can make my lashes super long with this but i posted a video of me the other day showing my a short and sweet tour dress on my TikTok. It's like Serena's heart black corset dress. And it has almost 300,000 views. I feel like that's mini viral. That's not like crazy viral. I was shook. That was kind of crazy. And it still like gets more views every day. Like it's pinned on my TikTok profile if you gotta go watch. I do love that dress. I had so many people DMing me being like, are you selling it? And I was like, no, I'm sorry, I need it for my concert. Well, maybe after the concert I'll sell it. This is the Pillow Talk lipstick in Kissing Chic Pink. I love this one. It is so good. Sometimes I use a lip liner, but I'm lazy today. We're almost done. I'm gonna take this small little brush and take just kind of like a light brown eyeshadow shade. Just put it like underneath. My crease, my crease underneath. I don't know what to call this. Underneath my eye. Much better. Does anyone else do this? Like blink on their fingers to push their lashes up? Just me? Okay. All right, you guys. That is my makeup routine. I normally put on a little lip gloss, but I don't have one with me. But I do love the Dior one. But yeah, it's just not here. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and talking with me and catching up and seeing my, my makeup routine, of course. Make sure to check out my other social medias like my Instagram and my TikTok. I post a lot on those if you want to just see more day-to-day -day stuff in my life. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.